What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm here with mum. We're gonna be asking some questions that you guys have sent through on Snapchat. So, uh, you ready? Not really, I'm never ready. I'm never ready, Kieran. How did you uh, react when the driving video, the first driving video hit its first million views? I was amazed. I could not believe it. I just thought, little old us in Adelaide doing our own thing and wow. It's just like gone viral. viral. Jinx. <laughs> Which I didn't really realize really even what Vara was. Yeah, I had to explain it to um, her. Yeah, so I was like, okay, so there's a few people around. And when it went to that South Korea thing, and oh, they yeah, actually, the South Korea thing, that was you had crazy. to hit the translate button, and yeah. then you had to, um, it, it came up in all Korean language. Yeah. And, it's, and it translated it, and it said, I wanted a something cafe latte, which I've never said. What? It was just really weird. <laughs> It was really weird in the translate. So first we're going to start off with some questions from Snapchat. I put this on my story. What's up guys? Doing a YouTube video with mum today. So respond to this story if you've got any questions for her. You ready? Cheers. Ready. Let's get into it. You ready? Okay, let's get into okay. it. Okay. I hope these questions are going to be interesting because, you know, it's going to be like... <laughs> no, they will be. James asks, how do you stay that calm in the car? My mum would have refused to take me out. Well, I'm actually not that calm, as you've probably seen, <laughs> in the car. Slow up! Slow up, Kieran! <laughs> But, uh, you know, for part of it, I have hope that he's actually going to be able to do this. But you know? I don't. I don't no, and then suddenly he's like coming straight to, uh, up the back of a Jeep, like that's parked there. And I'm going, get out, get off, g give them a wide berth. How are you I'm going? Gonna, I'll stop it. But, you know, it has, it has been really hard in a lot of respects because no spatial awareness, does not understand really that you've got to give parked cars, you know, at least a few metres. No, I understand them. that, I just... Well, you forget, and then it's a problem. He forgets, and it's like, as for the gears, you know, like coordinating the gears and all that, no, no. it's just not happening good at all. But thank you for thinking that I'm calm, because sometimes my heart is just in my throat. Okay, so this Snapchat user's name is Ziz, I don't know. Do you think Kieran should drive an automatic? Ziz, I'm leaning towards an automatic. Look. I drive cars from the age of 10, and I just thought it would be a natural extension of my own capabilities that he would be able to drive, but no. I can't drive. And he cannot. So, and I've sort of had it in my head that I always want our kids to learn in a manual. Then throughout the world, if they had to hire a car in some far-flung place, and they only had a manual, car left to hire then they could at least do that whereas that makes sense that yeah, makes yeah sense. that's right anyone i think almost anyone probably except kieran could <laughs> could drive an automatic you know it's just like foot off the accelerator foot on the brake and yeah. vice versa i have a question for you do you think georgia will be a better driver than me because she's we were discussing this today yeah. she's getting her l's in a year in a year well she's just turning 15 on the 10th which this is this tuesday it's this tuesday this tuesday um i think she will probably be a better driver than you but i think that you um are, i'll be more calm yeah like whereas i think that she will be very feisty behind the wheel like she'll bark back at me when i'm giving her orders and that like slow up on that i think she'll she'll get a little bit angry like she's She's got a different personality to you, yeah, which is lovely. She, she fights. She, she fights back a bit. She, yeah, she'll fire up. I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe says, "What's it like driving with Kieran? Have you ever thought your life is in serious danger when you drive with him?" Uh, yes, Joe. When we <laughs> come into the driveway, that's the point where my heart is like, "Stop now! Stop now! Stop now!" You would have seen that in the last video, and then unfortunately in that last video, I got out of the car and left him in there. Big mistake. <laughs> It was like big oh mistake. Lord. Because you thought I was constant. Well, I thought you were fine. <laughs> but that wasn't and, at all. No. And no. so, um, what was his question? Have you ever heard? Have you ever thought your life is in serious danger when you drive with him? Uh, yeah, coming into the, our own driveway, yes. Um, and when you reversed at high speed just the other day, out of that, luckily we were in like a cul-de-sac. So he reversed it at high speed out of a driveway, went straight across the road. There was no other traffic. I'll show the clip in a um, minute. That, and my heart was like, is he gonna stop? Is he gonna stop? Stop, 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 break! And I thought there was another driveway behind us, but subsequently he told me it was just a curb. And like, you can do some serious damage to your car when that sort of thing happens. Well, we, we were surprised so, in the garage that the car didn't have any oh, damage. Oh, the little car. We just clicked that straight back into place. Treasure. So the answer is yes, sometimes I feel quite traumatized 
as we're coming into the driveway and there's a few other occasions as well where I feel like oh this is not good. Yeah. Gracie asks how does she get back in the car with you with your driving technique? So I presume she's asking how do you find the yeah. wheel? Well I'm living in hope Gracie that he's gonna actually finally be able to coordinate the gear stick, the steering wheel, the spatial awareness. Like he's finally gonna be able to get it together. And then we go oh, well, around a yet. corner, then we go around a corner in third, and it's like chugga, chugga, chugga. Katie says, how hasn't your mum had a heart attack from your driving yet? Katie, I don't know how. I'm 54 years of age, and it's it's like asking somebody- Touch of wood now, we're gonna touch wood. Yeah, touch wood. We had this thing where it was something- Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. It's like someone asking you to bungee jump- Is that off, wood? Off, that's wood. That's wood, okay. It's like someone asking you to bungee jump off a cliff, which I would actually never do. I'd probably but do that, like, like if you had the security- kidding? If you had the secure safety yeah, harness and stuff. How much, would, how, much so, would, how much would someone need to pay you to do that? To jump off a cliff like that? Uh, I would, there's no payment. Seriously? No. People if they gave the me a time. couple of mil, I still wouldn't do it. Rafe says, when Kieran first got his provisional, what did you expect? I suppose they're meaning like when I first got my L's. Well, I expected that he'd just be able to, you know, once we had a stationary sort of lesson for 15 minutes curbside, I thought, well, we'll slowly take off and he'll, you know, we'll, in a back street, we'll slowly be able to do this. No, he hit the accelerator and we lurched forward and I thought, oh my Lord. <laughs> Alana asked, she's got quite a few, it's a long paragraph here, I'm not sure if you can see, it's a quite long paragraph, so we're gonna do, it's two separate questions. So firstly, how do you cope being in the car whilst Kieran is driving? I'm currently on my O's and go for my P's in three months. Uh, so that's the first question. How do you cope being in the car with me? Well, I just keep my eyes pretty much peeled so that I can see if there's any major accident about to happen. So I'm kind of hyper vigilant as well. And I'm like looking all the time, checking my rear view mirror, giving him instructions. So you actually really don't have time to think about how you're going to cope. It's one thing um, to the next, to the next. Yeah. It's probably afterwards. You know, it's the heart going to doom, do doom, do doom. Once we've finished, yeah. that I think, oh God, I need a stiff drink. This is just not, you know, this is not good. Second part of that question is, what goes through your head when he's driving and not listening to what you're saying? Thing is though, I don't Well, listen. I'm a teacher and I don't do people that don't listen to me very well at all. And when it's your own son, it's like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. It's just not great. Adam asks, how do you put up with all of Kieran's bad driving? Adam, it's difficult. Like, sometimes I just think, just get me home safely. Do you really feel like that? Sometimes I do, because I'm like, get me home in one piece. But I feel like I've got like total control of the car. Like, I feel like... Yeah, but from my point of view, I'm in the passenger seat and it's like relinquishing over that control to someone who's fairly incompetent. Sorry. Mm. Oh, thanks. But, who's, you know, well, <laughs> but it's learning. the truth though, it's the truth. You are learning. Learning for two like, years. Oh my <laughs> lord. But it says, hey guys, love the vids. Just want to know if Kieran ever managed to get his P's. Would you prefer he drive around in a manual or an auto? I know you're getting a manual license, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, he, I would really want him to get his manual license because then you can transfer over to an automatic pretty easy. He has not managed to actually get his P's yet. He's actually renewed his L's for another nine months. I haven't told, I have, so I haven't told, on his L's. I haven't told Australia Day, which is January 26th, to do, to get yeah. it done. And do, do you think I'll do it? No. You don't, you have no confidence? No. Lori, Lori I think it is. Lori, L-O-W-R-I. Probably American, Lori. Lori? Yeah. Do you think Kieran's driving is improving? There are slight rays of sunshine and hope. <laughs> and then he'll do something like go around a corner in third. But or the thing about that is, is people have been saying in the comments as well, if it's not going to stall, you're fine. Yeah, but then what happens when you speed up and you're in, doing 20, it's gonna go choo -choo 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 -choo. Nate says, did the garage ever get fixed? Did Kieran get punished for it? Sorry, I had to ask. No, he didn't get punished for it. Because it was a genuine mistake. Like the garage I... didn't get fixed because we left for LA the next morning. We're still here right now. We're filming we're this in, in our LA. hotel foyer. Yeah, moment. we're still in LA. And so um, we left for LA the next morning, but it will be covered under house insurance. Luke says, just buy Kieran an auto, LMFAO. Luke, no, he needs to learn in a manual because then he can take the car to uni. That's my objective. Oh, that's fair enough. But, no, I, re yeah. I, I respect that. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe for more. Mum, do you have anything else to say? Keep safe, everyone. I'm hoping to. What was this? I don't know. <laughs>
everyone. <laughs> wave. Just keep safe, everyone, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do another one of these with Dad, to be yeah. honest. No, he'd be. He'd be. He'd have other insights that I wouldn't have. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Oh, oh.